This is Pav Bamber here for PSP Sports from the Copper Box Arena here today for Eddie Hearn's fight night for match room. I'm joined by the spider victorious in the car tonight, Mr. Richards. Jeez, <laughs> How you doing, bro? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, firstly, obviously, you know, well done on the win itself. Uh, obviously, you know, Copper Box Arena is well renowned for having its boxing events here. Yeah. Um, what was your thoughts on the, on the fight? Good fight. I'm sorry he's tough. I've seen him fight other fighters, other good like heavyweights, and I know he comes forward. He has a good goal, so I expect him to be strong. Came out. I think he felt my power early. Backed up. Dropped him first. Dropped him again in the second, and we dispatched with him by the second round. So it was a pretty straightforward, simple night tonight. So just got to enjoy it. And move on. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, you know, I remember actually. Um fight with Jake Ball being announced. I think many people thought, you know, cracking 50-50, obviously both young fighters on, on, on the up. You've obviously already fought for the British title, haven't you? So, I mean, when obviously that fight was, was pulled, I mean, what was your mindset? Were you, were, being honest with yourself, were you motivated to come out tonight, knowing that you're fighting? Nah, I, yeah. I was really distressed for the last couple of days. I was just like, deflated a bit. I was yeah. like, oh, stop playing. I've trained all these weeks, looking forward to this title, getting my title, getting my WBN continent, or moving on, pushing up to the rank, proving myself in the light heavyweight division. Mm. And I felt like, he just pulled the rug, and I just thought, you know what? Obviously, as I said, he called me out June, Next day we spoke about him fighting in July, he then done his Achilles in July and said he can't fight no more in July. So I didn't go on a July show waiting for him. <coughs> they said September, he weren't going to be ready in time September, I heard. I thought no problem, end of October the fight got made. Cool, waited from June, Four, 14 week camp, train really hard. Monday morning wake up, I get a call saying that he's hurt his hand. And I looked at the side of it, there's a little red mark on the side of his hand. I thought that's pathetic, silly excuse. And you know what, I just thought, you know what, you've wasted my time. You called me out since June and you've not been active, you're injury prone, you ain't boxed for your title in over a year, you've been inactive, what's the point? Just allow me, let me move on now, because you're not on it. You're not, you are not. You didn't want to box, just allow it, just leave it now. <laughs> and he's talking about if I call you out for a reschedule, don't be scared. And I'm not the one who called out, so I'm just not entertaining it, because what's going to happen is I'm going to go stale. If he does that to me again... Oh, wait. Yeah, so if, he goes, if, I go, if I just wait around for him for so long, I'm going to go stale and I become irrelevant in the division. Uh, at this point now, I really want to march on and make my mark. I think there's time, so yeah, I can't keep waiting around for him. I'm just not motivated for him anymore. He's just like, he's a joker, he's wasting my time. I've just got to move on. Yeah, I mean, actually, you know what? Coming to think of it, actually, when I saw who you were fighting, obviously, on the card, I mean, I think actually, Craig, it's been like a year to the day you fought um, Baglioni for the British exactly. title. But obviously, you know, being a, a year later, I'm so, I assume, you know, mentally, you probably feel like you want to push on for men 100%. as well. That's exactly what I want to do. I really want to push on. You know, they say it takes a while to grow to weight back properly. Obviously, people don't realize I'm naturally a lot bigger. Mm. I'm naturally about 15, 15 and a half stone naturally. Wow. Wow. So you come down so, to yeah, 175 so from I, there? Yeah, when I stripped down to 168, yeah, I used to have to sit at the weight. And that's why I'd lose my punch power because it was nowhere near my natural weight. Yeah. So I was literally having to eat clean all year round to just stay at the weight around see middleweight. So my body started getting adapted to that weight. <clears throat> Obviously I'd lose my punch power, I wouldn't be so energetic and stuff. And I thought, what's the point of doing this? So when I let my body grow back naturally, over the year I'm going back into my natural weight and that's why now I'm boiling down to get back down to 175 and now I'm at my natural weight. So people don't realise that every time I've boxed, like all my super middleweights is always on point. Mm. I've boxed, what, this is my eighth time above the super, mid super middleweight limit and seventh stoppage within three rounds. So at light heavyweight, I'm a massive puncher, but at super middleweight, I was a non-puncher. So it was like, this was the time for me to go and show everyone how good I am at light heavyweight. So yeah, it just pulled my opportunity away. But I mean, you know, would you, would you even say for yourself that what you learned from that Buglioni fight was probably up there with some of the best experience you probably had as a boxer, although it was a loss, for a stadium, for the British title, you know, against a guy who's so experienced and was, you know, tipped to fight the likes of Anthony Yard. And now you've got that, and now you can obviously try and move forward. It's a good experience because at the time, obviously, I was only uh, probably 12 stone four when I got in the ring. I was still a super middleweight. Yeah, wow. Like, and I took the fight on five days' notice with no training. You literally yeah. fought in Ireland, didn't you? In the Ireland. week before, yeah. They rung me on a Tuesday saying, Do you want to get out and do a four round? I thought, oh, I can do four rounds and four round fit. Yeah. So I went out and done the four round. Even when I went to the third, I thought, I better get this guy out of here. I didn't even train for four rounds. So I quickly just <laughs> Three rounds. Got off of the fight Sunday night, I was in Ireland still. Yeah. I said, yeah, flew home Sunday night, come train two days, and went and boxed all around for a British title fight on five days' notice. Wow. Uh, super midway. So I didn't have time to eat, grind to weight, nothing at the time. I just took it five days' notice and rolled the dice. Come up short on points. So people can only imagine what, what it'd be like if I trained for a fight. Yeah. So it's like, 
now this is my time for everyone to see what I'm like in a camp mm. against people they think's great. Oh, not again. Uh, go on, so quick, quick, carry on. Yeah, so basically, this is my time to show everyone what I'm like with training camp. People saw me probably only five days' notice. They're like, mm, guy looked okay, looked good, but you know what I'm saying? What's he really about? This yeah. is the time with a training camp against another top top 10 prospect. What's he really like? In London as well. In London, I want to show everyone what I'm really capable of. And yeah. But I mean, obviously, you know, I know, you know 2018 is practically over now, only two months left, but I mean, one, are you looking to get out before the end of the year? And two, what could 2019 hold for you? You can have conversations with Eddie Hearn, Jordan be out regularly, during a fight maybe six, seven times a year next year. But what's, what's your plans for the next 12 months here ahead? I want ahead? to be regular, but I want to be in title fights too. Yeah. I want, to be, I want to be in nice fights, good, exciting fights. And I also want to be out regular. So that's what it holds for me. I want to move up the ranks, I want to win championships, I want to push up, I want to work through the rankings. And eventually I want to get to world, world title, world level, but I need to tick off the British, I need to move up, I need to move up. So I've got a journey to go, one step at a time. But the longer I delay in the same spot, time goes on. I, I don't have time to waste now, I just want to keep pushing on. Definitely. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, congratulations for victory tonight again. And obviously, you know, like, like we say, hopefully, big announcements for Craig Richard soon, title fights. You say big 12 round fights in London. So, we'll wish you all the best, definitely. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. No worries. No worries.